Hi, I'm Veronica and this is Chat With Me. Well, I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, self-esteem and things like that. And one of the things I'm doing and, and progressing on is feeling better about myself and my self-esteem and um, trying to be, um, trying to feel better about myself. One of the reasons why I have my Instagram is for that, so that I can see myself the way others see me. You know, you um, kind of when you are out there, you're looking at yourself out there instead of, you know, internalizing everything. You can kind of get that impression. Also, I've said this a million times, is that when you see a picture of yourself, it makes a big difference than seeing a picture or seeing yourself in the mirror. Um, you know, and the feedback from other people does help. I will say that in some respect it helps, in some respect it hurts. Um, what I'm finding though, um, and, and this has to do probably with because I try to connect and read all my comments and, um, you know, just understand people and understand what they're seeing in my pictures. I'm trying to learn, you know, as well as post my pictures and I post them for me to see my progress. Um, but also I learn a lot about people by reading the comments and a lot about what other people are looking for and what they see in the pictures. You know, and some people are very honest about it and some people probably aren't so much. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you never know. Um, but it, what's really funny is uh, the more I do this and the more I post, you know, sexy pictures or hear a lot of compliments, it's almost like um, a turnoff to, in, a, in a certain sense. I, um, I, um, oh, it's really weird. I'm trying to explain it. It's, it, it, it's, I don't want to say that I don't want to be complimented because I appreciate compliments. I really do. And I want, um, I want, but I don't want to hear them all the time. So it's really funny is when I develop a friendship or, um, outside of Instagram, but let's say it's an Instagram follower and I have a couple people I, t I chat with occasionally on messaging and the ones that actually that I enjoy are ones that don't have to bring up how I look all the time, you know, that we can have a conversation and, and it's okay to talk about, um, you know, what are you watching on TV or what are you doing or how is your workout or that kind of normal everyday stuff. It's so important to me right now. You know, all, I don't have a job to go to, so I'm sitting here on Instagram. And, and, and to me, sometimes the compliments are almost fake. It's, um, it's strange that that changes you and changes the way you see things. A year ago, if someone would have messaged me and told me I was beautiful and gorgeous, I would have just went oh, all over them. Um, now it's almost like, why? Why are you telling me that? What do you want? You know, and I do that, like, what do you want? <laughs> and that's really bad <laughs> to think that way, you know, that someone's complimenting you and you automatically turn to the, what do you want? And I think it just comes from learning that the majority, I was on, I just started a Snapchat and I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but some guy was messaging me and he said, you know, um, you're gorgeous or something about your body. And I immediately came back with, well, I don't talk about sex and you know, blah, I mean, directed it at him and he said well what made you think I wanted to I said well because what happens and I know it's not everyone but it is surprising how many people and how many messages I get that start out with your body's gorgeous you have a great figure you're beautiful you're gorgeous all when they start out with this big compliment about the way I look it tends to turn right into you know and I say thank you and I appreciate that and then the conversation will go on a little bit, but I will tell you 99 times out of a hundred, that conversation turns into that man asking me for a nude picture, asking, you know, me to talk dirty or turns into sex somehow, somehow does. And I avoid that like the plague because I don't want to go there and I don't want to do that. So I have a tendency to back off when someone tells me a compliment like that. And what happens, the more it happens, I mean, you know, it's multiple times a day this happens to me. So it's become almost a learned response to a compliment. So now I don't even look at any messages anymore because I can't, I mean, I can't, 
Um, I know that some people are very, very sincere about their messages and what they say, but I know that there's also so many that are just trying to find their sneak their way in that door so that they can maybe get a picture, a nude picture, or talk dirty or whatever they want. So I'm very, you know, my guard goes up when I hear compliments that come out of messages. And, and not just, I mean, not every compliment. It's usually the ones that have to do with the body or the, the beauty or things like that. Um, However, I've had the opposite too. I mean, people are smart and they try to play you. <laughs> it's amazing how many people try to play you and, you know, try to get at your, like your core and then go, okay, now I want this from you. And you're like, fudge, man. <laughs> so it, it, it's doing some, some fault things. So it's one thing I need to work on is a, when someone compliments you doesn't mean that they want something just as much as when I put my body out there it doesn't mean I want sex just as much as when they compliment me it doesn't mean that they want sex or to talk about it um, I feel like I have to protect myself because I've been I've been called upon basically I've been tricked and that's my bad you know I've allowed that to happen so I need to learn better to well, for one, I'm just not messaging. There's just too many and I can't deal with it. it you know, it's just too hard to manage. But um, I think, too, when I do get that, I need to really start learning to step back and go, just because someone's complimenting you doesn't mean that they want to throw you on the bed. And that's true. And i got to remember that as well. So there's a lot of lessons still to be learned. And I think that's probably why I stay... On Instagram, I'm learning a ton about my personality, about my weaknesses, about my strengths, about my assumptions. When I'm telling people to not assume and then I turn around and assume, that makes that's not good for me. I don't agree with assumptions and I just find myself doing it as well. Um, and I'm doing it not because I'm assuming. I do it more as a protection. I am... I am assuming, I'm assuming that's where they're going first so that I can just protect myself immediately instead of letting them in and then and then cutting it off. Um, sometimes that's hard to do and that's what I need to learn how to do. So uh, it's been really good and that was a good thing. Uh, I don't want to get, I, I've, I want to start appreciating again as much the compliments as um, I did in the beginning instead of totally thinking of it as a bad thing um and i think i don't know how other women feel or other people that post a lot that get a lot of attention how they react to it i mean i can't imagine you know someone that you know some of these stars and stuff that the the shit they get and how they can keep a normal life you know and and keep that so separate because it is i mean it's you know it's another world it's it, it's a fantasy world to a lot of people that are seeing, you know, people that they admire on on social media or in the movies or on TV or wherever it is. I don't know how it's got to be hard for them. I mean, I've a whole new respect because mine's about this big compared to some of those stars, you know, that have millions and millions and millions of people having their opinion of them and complimenting or being mean or whatever they do. I can't imagine. I mean, it's got to be tough. People want to pick you apart. Um, it's, I mean, and, and I'm only like, again, I'm getting it about this much where some of the, they've got to be getting it all the time. I mean, they do probably have people screening their stuff and so they don't have to see it all. It doesn't have to be in their face all the time, but it's got to be hard. And I have a whole new appreciation for that. Um, <laughs> cause like, again, mine is just like a little ant in an ant hill, you know? And, and I, I'm learning a lot from it though. And um, which is good because I need to be stronger and, and this is a good platform to do that because it's, 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 you know, you, it, it's easier to have the control to block people or get rid of them or say no or whatever it is you need to do. It's much easier to do that online. Whereas I think too, the other side of the coin is, is it's much easier for people to say things to me that they normally maybe wouldn't in person because there's that that buffer when you're, you know, on the internet, it's, it's not always real to anybody. So anyway, lo lessons learned. I'm going to not assume anymore. I am going to still not take messages, but I won't assume, <laughs> um, but I'm going to be better about that because I really need to be, um, 
because people t are truly genuine and I need to remember that. And there is a lot of genuine people out there, a lot. A lot more than there is the others, but you, you know, when you've never been in this kind of life, it really <laughs> changes you. So that's my thought of the day. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.